Oh, there we go. There we are. All right. Um, so, the usual lovely, strong, slow flow on Sunday, but with the idea of that posture reset. So we're going to try and find that little neutral, or not neutral, that curve in the lower spine. So have your grip ready and have something to lean it against, whether that's a wall or the sofa or an upturned coffee table, because in the minute we're going to pop it in the lower back, so just above the sacrum. And that's just going to help us be aware of where that curve is and how it feels to sit in that neutral place rather than the comfy place, which is, ah, oh, so comfy. <laughs> Why is that so comfy? Apparently, someone did tell me it's because when we're in here, we're actually using the, the bones to kind of sustain us. So our spine is sustaining us as opposed to this, which is more the muscles sustaining us here. I don't know, it kind of makes sense because that is much more comfy and easy, isn't it? <laughs> Head forward. All right. Find, because we've been chatting for a while, find a new position that feels equally comfortable. So somewhere different for your hips, your ankles and your feet to be. Make sure you have water to hand as well. So it is creeping up heat wise. And then because we've been a little bit active with our thoughts, just allow the body a little bit of time to realise what the plan is for the next 45 minutes. So just feel underneath the hips where you are. And I notice that really lovely change of breath. And with that longer breath, just allow the shoulders to be a little bit wider and to release down. If you're holding on to any tension around the centre of the belly, is there any way that you can breathe in? And then on the exhale, just soften that whole area down. Last time. And then depending on where your legs are, if you're crossed, you can grab hold of the shins for your seated cat cow. And then on an inhale, imagine taking the chest through the arms. You can bend the elbow together with more traction. And on an exhale, and change the placement of the arms. Inhale, so you can pull the shins towards you. Oh, oh. Exhale, cat. Oh. Inhale, come into the cow. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, coming forward. So notice that lovely shift onto the front of the sit bones. And then exhale, notice some roll behind you. Nice. And then find neutral. So whatever it is that you're using to support your block, to find it now. So squish over to a, I'm just going to move my table. Tell you what, tomorrow will be a good time to clean and um, soft furnishings and put them out in the sun, won't it? Because they'll dry really quickly. Oh, that's exciting for everyone, isn't it? Lemon, lemon, fresh lemon and bicarb works really well on um, fabric sofas. If anyone has had tried that, it's really cool. It smells nice as well. Okay. So, so back is, yeah. Yes, just above sacrum. So you're in that, that space, which is a natural little curve anyway. And then just when you're there, just see if the head just can rest, same line as the middle of the shoulders, same line as the middle of the hips. So if you have got access 
to a screen and you can see you from sideways, you might be able to adjust. Yeah. So it looks like your head is a tiny little bit forward, that might be because you're looking at me, or about because the, the chair is angled. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. While Elaine's setting up her, um, her new area, just draw the belly in a tiny little bit. Just have a little rock of the ankles to make sure it feels Lovely. And then inhale, take the arms as far up as they feel safe to go. And then just start to circle through the wrists. Welcoming any little cracks that happen. But all the time we're aware of our lumbar spine, those five vertebrae being in a really lovely little curve. Maybe you see if the arms can come up a little bit higher. Last one before we bring the arms in front of us. Until they drop down, elbows, wrists and shoulders, one straight down. Yeah. Exhale, we bring the fingertips up. Inhale, either to neutral, you might want to curl them in. Really choose. Exhale as they are. Yeah. Keep the uh, wrists a little bit higher, Louise, so that in line. With, yeah, I know it's a bit more work. Lovely. Just check as well that you've still got that spinal extension going on, so that lower back is still working. And that last one. Whenever you next inhale, open the arms so by your side, still straight. Beautiful. And then like little fists, they can be as, yeah, and then star out the fingers. Nice. And then again, just lift your arms so they're in line. Yeah, I know that again, that's going to be a bit more work. It's nice because it gets us ready for all of our legs. If you've got the space behind you and it feels nice, you can extend the chest forward, which is going to bring your back into a little bit more extension. And then do the same thing. Maybe. Nice, maybe. Just check where your head is, Melanie. I think you're looking down a little bit, yeah. You're concentrating. It's, having the head forward and down isn't a bad thing, it's just that we do it all the time. So it's not that we should, shouldn't do it, it's just that we need to be able to find its opposite balance. Last one. On an exhale, right elbow wraps on top of left. We hug our shoulder blades as close in as you can. Really nice. On an inhale, lift the elbows up, but keep the hands where they are. You might hear a little bit of cracking. And then drop them back down. Reopen on an inhale. On an exhale, re-close. Left elbow onto the right. One might be more mobile than the other. And again, we're grabbing hold of our shoulder blades. Yeah. <clears throat> so feet go ahead and <clears throat> call me Kastner. Um Yeah, eagle arms if you want. But if, but if you want, you can grab hold of your shoulder blades like this. So up to you. If that feels nice, go for it. Yeah. And then elbows come up. Yeah. Oh. That's not really nice on the heat, is it? That's it, that's it for <laughs> It's similar. I didn't want to stop you doing so fun. And then drop the arms down. That's a lot of upper arms already. Have a little circle. And then just check in, see what that feels like. Remove the block when you're ready. And then very gently come to lay on your back. Oh, lovely. Feel free just to have a little walk around. You can keep the knees a little bit wider if that feels more comfortable, or they can be close into the chest. Just have a little walk. Maybe you grab hold of the knees and circle them from there, or maybe you don't. Know. 
For the next couple of rocks or movements, just really concentrate on that deep exhale. And as you exhale, just see if you can draw the belly a little bit more into the breath. So you activate the breath and the belly on the exhale. In a minute, we're gonna do some more. Last one. Right knee hugs in, but the left leg is straight. Hands by your side unless you want to hug in. That's it. And then from here, that straight leg goes a little bit closer to the ground. It's up to you how close it gets to the ground. And Elaine knows where we're going. We're circling there. So Gem, you might want to circle about halfway. That's still a lot of strengthening but it's not quite so much pressure as having that straight leg close to the ground everyone else straight leg close to the ground slow circles for the last couple of breaths you might decide to lift the head and the shoulders off the ground as you circle yeah. if it feels all right take the hands away from the bent leg so if you're into that, yeah, nice. Last one. Oh, and then settle the head down. If it's lifted, settle the feet down. Lift up the hips and just give your front of the hips some space. A little bit. Check in that everything feels okay. And then sit the hips back down. Left knee bends into chest, right leg is straight. You choose, arms can be by your side or arms folding that left knee into your chest, whatever feels better. And then that straight leg goes close to the floor. You have a little pause as you check in and then circle. Now we can feel now because we're really aware of what that lower spine is doing. So that area that we had the block in just a moment ago, if it's really arched, can you draw the front of the belly down just to control the arch? That's it. Nice. If that's all right, lift the head and the shoulders off the ground and keep the circles nice. Last one. And then knee bends, head down if it's lifted, foot down, hips lift. Maybe there's a little side to side action. Oh, yum. Delicious. Two more breaths before we come into that unusual bridge with lots of options. When you're ready, first bridge is just a nice, simple bridge, but awareness to what's happening in the neck. So hands down by your side, lift the hips. And then just notice if you've tucked the chin a little bit. And if you can, just extend the chin a little bit out so it's more neutral. And then with the chin a little bit more neutral, you can press the back of the head into the earth. So your eyes should be looking straight ahead. If they're looking a little bit up, you can tip the chin a little bit too far. And if they're looking kind of at a ceiling joint, you can tip the chin a little bit too far down. So just eyes straight ahead. And then keep the hips lifted, but press the back of the head. It's just gonna help strengthen the muscles responsible to lift our head, which are really important. They tend to be really short and underworked but overstressed. Nice. One more breath. Back of the head still really, really pressing into the ground as long as it feels comfy. Shouldn't feel painful. And then let that little head press go and let the hips drop down, have a little shake. As you unwind, in a minute, we're gonna do the same thing, Bridge. 
if it feels all right and if it felt all right last week, we can explore that Bormukasana arms, so cow arms, behind our shoulders. So that stretch, which is normally quite intense, one elbow up, one elbow down, we're gonna add the weight of our body, which might just be too much. So essentially, I'm gonna find my Gormukasana, which for me is clasping the fingers. Again, that's not from doing yoga, that's just how I've been built. But for you, it might be further away, or it might just be top arm. And then essentially, I'm gonna lie down on there. When I lie down, if my hands are in the center of my spine, it feels a little bit uncomfortable. So I like to bring my hands snuggled into my shoulder blade here, as opposed to in the center here. They're a bit more off center. If for any reason that doesn't work and you have to kind of go quite slow to feel it, then come into your bridge that we've just done with the head back or any bridge. All right. So we do it bit by bit. We lean over to one side, elbow comes up and we find our way into the center of our mid back. We lean over to the other side and we decide what we're going to do with the other hand, whether they're going to clasp, whether they're going to come close or whether we just do one. And then once we've done whatever we're going to do, we gently roll back. And before we lift our hips, which is going to add weight, we just think, oh, does something feel uncomfortable? If it does, can you angle the hands differently? And often that makes a huge difference. Once the hands and the arms feel okay, press the elbows a little bit closer to the ground and then gently lift the hips up. So we start to add the weight. You might notice a sigh need to come out. Louise is looking at me. <laughs> so think, so all, all it is is bridge, all it is is bridge, but with these arms. That's all we're doing. But in order to get those arms in the right place, we need to roll to one side. So I start with neutral arms, I roll to one side, and I do one arm, roll back, then I roll to the other side and I do the other arm, and then roll back. And then I lift up. Yeah. If you've been in that Gormacasana hands for a while, feel free to come down. Yeah. And then same thing to get out, we roll to one side, doesn't matter which side, we roll to one side, release one arm. Roll to the other side, and you should be able to release the other arm. Have a little side to side check in. That's a big stretch. And then do the other side. So roll to one side. Elbow comes up or comes down. Roll to centre. Roll to other side, other arm. But whatever it's going to do, you might notice now that after having done one side, the other side is a little bit more forthcoming. I think I've just done the same slide twice. Which way up. <laughs> Make sure the hands are snuggled comfortably. Really nice. Last couple of breaths. Oh, this is going to give us space through our front of our shoulders. And now tricep with a little bit of a massage for the muscles in between the shoulder blades, those little rhomboid muscles. Come down when you're ready, it's a big stretch. And then untangle your arms carefully, one by one. And then before we move again, because that's a big lot of information for the body to assimilate, let it assimilate. Just going, what the hell just happened? What kind of movement is that? Take one more big inhale and a big exhale. And then see how a down dog feels today.
So checking with the hands. So changing the shoulders and the tricep is also going to change how the hands and the wrists interact with the rest of the body. So see if you've got a little bit more space. Or it feels a little bit different. Yep. Last breath. On an inhale, allow the eyes just to travel forward. And on an exhale, feet slowly forward fold with or without your blocks. We have some half salutes with a squat and a little lunge and a tabletop. So it's a more of a full salute. Inhale when you're ready, flat back. Weight is really forward. That's it, belly is lifted. Exhale, we rock back, bend our knees. Inhale, find the earth a little push and lift you up. Exhale, hands into the heart. Inhale, lift the arms back up, maybe widen the feet, maybe turn them out if they haven't been already. Exhale, bum comes back. Knees bend, outer heels, really active. That tends to be the bit that wants to curl up nice. Inhale, hands forward on blocks or not. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, adjust the feet so they're parallel. We're going to come into our low lunge. Exhale, right leg back, right knee down. If you've been on blocks, just take the blocks away so the hands are on the floor. Ah, I spiked my foot. And then exhale, tabletop. Lovely. From here, inhale, right leg straightens up, but right toes stay on the ground. Lovely. Exhale, push through the hands, hover that left knee and then straighten it into a plank. Inhale to pause. Exhale, rebend that right knee. Inhale, rebend that left. Let's do the other side. Exhale as we pause. Inhale, left leg straightens up, toes to the floor. Press through the hands. Hover that right knee, plank. Inhale as you pause. Exhale, rebend the left. Inhale, rebend the right. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high on your tiptoes, walk forward into a forward fold. Really nice, same thing the other side. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, knees are bending, hips are coming back, chair. Inhale, press through, lift up. Exhale, we just fit into the heart and just thank it for being okay with all these temperature changes and adjusting and supporting us. Thank you, heart. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hips back, knees back. Squat pose. Malasana. Nice and easy. Yeah. And again in Malasana, see what it feels like to round and then just use, it's not a neutral spine, but it's not a round spine. That's it. Hands down. Forward fold. Inhale, adjust the feet. Exhale, left leg back, left knee down. And then Low lunge, hit with our hands down. If you've been on blocks, remove the blocks. And then move that front foot and front leg to a tabletop position. Beautiful. Inhale, left leg to the floor. Exhale, press and lift the right. Take it back to the plank. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, left leg back. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale as we pause. Inhale, right leg straight. Exhale, push through the hands, lift the other leg, straighten it up. Back. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, right leg. Inhale, left leg. 
exhale down dog. It's a short down dog. Yeah. Inhale, look forward. Oh. Exhale, walk forward. Okay. Inhale, flat back starting off low. Exhale, chair. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands rest in the heart. Inhale, arms up this time. Exhale, all the way back, chair. Yeah, sneaky. Press through the left leg. We're going to come back to high lunge. On an exhale, right leg hovers and steps back, high lunge. Yes. Interlace the hands, inhale. Lift the palms to the ceiling, high lunge. Really nice. Once you feel steady, take some little circles through the torso. That's a real big challenge with the balance. See if you can navigate those changes. Oh, last one. And then exhale as the hands drop down. Inhale as they interlace behind you. If it feels nice, you can press them back or you can lift them up. Whatever feels interesting. Exhale, humble warrior. We're going towards that space. Inhale, hands down, runners lunge. We're going to sweep straight back to a three-legged dog. So this left leg is going to kick back to a three-legged dog. Yes, bend the knee. Turn open and lift. And then turn the hips back so that they're straight and neutral. Yes, it's just three-legged, it's neutral hips. That's it. Nice, nice. Straight leg if it feels all right. Make sure that your arms and your feet are in the same position, ready for plank. You can keep this left leg up or it can come down. We're gonna flow from plank to down dog three times. Inhale, exhale. Oh, I thought I was gonna do that. I'm gonna do legs now. <laughs> exhale, last one. Oh, too much. Inhale, three-legged or four-legged plank. Exhale, down dog, coming into our Jetaranga. Inhale, knees up or knees down. Have a little feeling. Exhale, elbows bend. Inhale, a back bend or press up. Take your time. On your next exhale, come up. Oh. Inhale as the hands adjust. And exhale if you're not already there, down dog. Yeah. Yep. From your down dog, just bring the knees down for a second and just check. Again, the temperature is creeping up. It's now kind of 24. Just check that everything is feeling okay and that a hop would be a good idea. If you feel a little bit kind of lightheaded or just a little bit hot, maybe you decide to go straight into a wide-legged forward fold. So you choose. It might be that you try a hop and go, oh yes, or oh no, and you might not know until you do it. So you choose. Opportunity to have a little hop is there. We're all geared up for it. But you might think farther off. If you're telling me bugger off, Step the right leg forward and come into that wide leg forward fold. Good. Once you finish hopping wide leg forward fold. In here, take the hand over to one side, drop the head. Hands walk through the centre and they come to the other side. You can bend and straighten the leg as well, depending on how that feels. Recenter. Hands on the block if you've got them, just to provide um, a flat back. Yeah, so if I do it from the side, you'll see the difference. So this is kind of me drop down, and then I've got a flat back. So I've made like an L shape. Lovely, really nice money, that's it. And then one arm stays on the block, one arm lifts. 
Other rock comes up. Oh, nothing. And then drop down. Remove your blocks. Depending where you are on your mat, face forward. You can spin round into a runner's lunge, whatever's been working. At some point, we gather ourselves into a fourth fold. However, best. Inhale, flat back. Oh, reset the shoulders. Exhale, chair pose. It's strong. Inhale, press through the earth, lift up. Exhale, hands into the heart. Inhale, lift up. On our exhale to chair. Lean through the right leg. Press through the right foot. Exhale, lift the left. Take it back, high lunge. Yes. Interlace the hands. Sweep them up as we inhale. All right. On an exhale, have a little explore the circle. Your legs are going to want to try and move to counterbalance your torso and head. See if you can keep them still. So your balance and your core strength are the things that keep you from falling over rather than counterbalancing. Nice. So the lower body, the legs stay really still. Nice job. Really nice. Last one. Oh, and then come into center. Exhale as the hands drift down. Inhale the interlace. Exhale, there's a push or a lift, a pause on our inhale. And then exhale, humble warrior. Really lovely. Inhale, hands down, runner's lunge. Exhale, straight back, one swift movement, three legged dog. Exhale, right knee bends and opens, turn the hips. Inhale, realign the hips. That's it. Make your stance make sense of plank and then straighten the leg. Leg stays up or it comes down into plank. Or to tabletop. I'm going to do tabletop actually. Exhale, down dog. Sounds so rebellious, isn't it? Inhale, plank, tabletop, three legged. <laughs> Exhale, down dog, last one. Inhale, whatever you're going to do. Exhale. Inhale, plank, take the top. Exhale, a bend of the elbows. Inhale, a back bend. Stay here for the exhale. Stay here for the inhale. Exhale, drop down. Inhale, adjust the hands. Exhale, push up. Again, check in. Yep. If those jumps felt great, go ahead. It might be your last chance till Wednesday. We might have melted by Tuesday, so you know, maybe you just think, oh, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> yep. At some point, there's that lovely wide leg forward fold. Life is great. You get there, you select leg length, tiny little bit of turnout, and then hands come to one side. Flow back to center and then to the other. Oh, and then to center. Find your block so the back is flat. Yeah. And then take a lovely twist. One hand stays on the block as the other goes up to the sun. Exhale, it drops back down. Yeah, really lovely. Inhale, other side. Exhale, drop it back down. Ooh, 
walk the hands forward or however it is that you want to come to the front of your mat and then exhale forward fold all right same flow with a little balance a little bit quicker inhale flat back exhale chin inhale feet press to lift you up exhale hands into the heart inhale arms up exhale push back chair inhale left leg loaded still chair exhale right leg lifts step it back high lunge yeah adjust make sure you've got space in front for warrior three interlace the hands inhale as they lift up no circles this time exhale drop them down oh. Inhale, the interlace. Exhale, travel forward. Humble warrior. Inhale, we come back up. Left arm comes up. Bend of the elbow. We come in to our cow face. Gorma Kassana arms. I couldn't remember what it, was, what it was there. I was like, what are we doing? Either the hands interlace, they come a little bit further away, or you just do one. Whatever it is that you're planning to do. On an exhale, travel a little bit further forward into galloping horse. Nice. So there's a direct, lovely line. Nice. Step the back foot a tiny bit in. And on your next exhale, shift the weight forward so you can lift the back foot into warrior three with our arms still like that, which is a little bit less than what's the word comfortable oh. release the hands drop the foot drop the hands run as much all the way back three legged dog bend the knee inhale shift the hips over Exhale, close the hips, straighten the leg, adjust the hands. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Nice, two more. Inhale, a plank or a tabletop, you choose. Exhale, a down dog, the leg can be lifted. Nice, Mandy. Inhale, plank. <laughs> So you pop the fan back on or is it in your, in your way? <laughs> when you're done, both legs come down. Plank pose, knees up or knees down. Exhale, a bend with the elbows. Inhale, a back bend. Exhale as you stay in your back bend. Inhale as you stay. Exhale as you drop down. Inhale, adjust the hands. Exhale, find the push into down dog. Nice transition in there. All right. A hop should it still be feeling like a good idea? Well, that's just really heats the whole body up, doesn't it? When you've had enough of hopping, find your wide leg. On or off your blocks. <laughs> Poor fish. <laughs> and so it's literally taken off all of her mat. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, bless him. And he looks really comfortable. He's like, I'm not moving. No, no, no. I'm, I'm super happy here. I'm doing my yoga. Don't, don't you plan on moving me, lady. <laughs> Take your twist when you're ready. Really nice, long spine. So really, really long spine as you twist. That's it, that's it. Nice Louise, really nice. And then hand shift forward, feet turn, however you wish, forward fold. Last flow. Yeah, almost there. Inhale, flat back, let's go straight into it. Exhale, chair. Inhale, load the right leg. 
exhale, pick up the left, send it back, high lunge. Arms come up as they interlace. Ooh. Exhale, they drop down. Inhale, they interlace behind us. Lovely pull of the front of the, of the shoulders. Exhale, hum. Use the feet, push into the ground. Let that lift you back up, high lunge. Right arm up and over, elbow bends. Left arm wherever it asks to be. If you can, if you've done cow face, just try not to let the elbows kind of push you into forward head position. So think about head, back, spine a little bit extended. From here, galloping horse. With that same line, that's it. Back foot steps in a tiny bit. Weight travels forward, the lift up, warrior three. With unusual hands. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, hands down. Runners, lunge. Inhale, sweep straight up, three legged one. You choose, I'll say not choose, not yet. Bend the knee, open the hips. Replace the hips, extend that bend leg. Ankle tabletop on an inhale. Down dog or child on an exhale. Plank or tabletop. Inhale. Oh, it's nice. Exhale, child on the exhale. <laughs> Last one. Plank or tabletop. Inhale. Exhale, down dog or child on the exhale. Oh. Inhale, plank or tabletop. Exhale, an elbow bend. Inhale, a back bend. Exhale, stay in your back bend. Inhale, stay in your back bend. Exhale, drop down. Inhale, adjust the hands, the arms. Exhale, down dog. Last chance for a jump. I feel it's so, so hot. And I'm still going to do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> go easy, Jeff. <laughs> I love Jeff's energy. Wide leg forward fold. Maybe before we get there, you just have a spot of a drink. You just think, actually, crumbs. We've been going for kind of Pretty nice, 25 minutes straight. Remember, we just plan on having a bit of drink. Take your twist or your side stretch or both in your wide leg. Whatever feels unctuous. Yeah. And then come to sit down. However you want to get down. Well, so we started five minutes later than usual. It's now coming up 10, 20 past, so if you need to go, we'll just, we'll just be another three minutes. If you need to go because you've got a sunshine plan to go. If you've got time for those extra three minutes, set up however you want to set up. I would say that actually what we need to do is just be still, but if there's somewhere a lot of you did do those three-legged planks, etc. So it might be that you just want a, a, a brief but lovely shoulder massage or a lovely shoulder stretch, whatever, whatever works. But otherwise, I would say spend three minutes in one position, maybe legs up the wall if your blood pressure is feeling okay. If you want a little bit more space through the front of the body, maybe you just lay like a block of melting ice over your bolsters and your yoga bricks. And I'm actually going to be really quiet for two and a half minutes and I'm just going to get you 
Make sure you're hydrated before you come to lay down for those two and a half minutes, so otherwise your body will not be happy to be yeah, it, won't, it just won't be happy to be still. Now, wherever you've lied down, laid down, it might feel that you're only just kind of unwinding. It might be that you're only just letting the tissues soften down and just kind of release. In which case, maybe you stay there just for a couple of minutes. You just give me a wave and you just stay. If you feel ready and you want to seal your practice with me, very gently, however, you've set up really slowly. I think that's going to be the key over the next couple of days. And keep checking in, yeah. At some point, we've sat up and our blood pressure has changed and regulated, re-regulated itself. It's incredible. Have a little shoulder roll, we just to make sure that everything's really good. good. And then inhale, arms up. Exhale through that warm air. Inhale. Exhale through the air under our fingers. Inhale. Palms together. Exhale into the heart. Namaste. just 24 plus if you need to go go I've recorded so I'm going to stop